It was another beautiful day on the tramway. Bruno was on freight duty for the week, because Robert, who normally did this job, was being repaired at Sam's workshop. He was working very hard, but sometimes he could be very clumsy. One day, Bruno was shunting trucks in the yard. He was almost finished when he suddenly shunted one truck too fast. He bumped it much too hard. The truck crashed through the buffers and came off the track. Oh no! What have I done? I'm going to be in so much trouble. And he was. That evening, Mr. Wells spoke severely to Bruno. Bruno, you have caused a lot of trouble. Not only have you broken a set of buffers that cost 200 quid to replace, I also had to buy a replacement truck. I'm sorry, sir. I really am sorry, sir. Albert was delighted to hear about Bruno's dilemma. Well, well. Bruno's caused another accident. Your fourth this month. But I can't help it. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. It's not like you haven't had an accident before, Albert. Remember your faulty brakes? What faulty brakes? I kept getting overexcited in the past, that's all. I've never had an accident. The other tram said nothing. They had heard Albert's boasting before. The next morning, Albert pulled into Central Station. He was feeling very confident, but he didn't know that his faulty brakes weren't hard on. Here comes Jeff. It won't be long now. But Albert's brakes were not on properly, and he suddenly felt himself moving. He tried to stop, but his faulty brakes had failed completely. Jeff saw what had happened and gasped. Oi, Albert, stop! I can't! Get help! Whee! I don't really know how you do it, Sam, but this tea is fantastic! Why, thank you, sir. Frank helped me make the... Oh, what the... <laughs> you kids, get off my car! I'm down here, sir. Oh, hello, Jeff. What's the matter? Albert's a runaway. You need to help right away. It's those faulty brakes. No doubt about it. You're probably right there, Sam. Telephone the signalman at once. Tell them to stop all the other trams. Right away, sir. Meanwhile, Albert was still racing along. Oh my word, what the heck was that? Suddenly, all the signal lights along the tramway were red, and all trams in service were diverted into sidings to allow Albert to speed through. Phew, hold on, sir. Good job, Sam. Now we must catch Albert, and fast. Oh no! Oh, I can't go in my car with it looking like this. Now how will we catch him? 
Uh, um. Oh, uh, uh, sorry, Jeff. Uh, would you mind taking this? Hurry up, hop in. Meanwhile, Albert was still out of control. He soon raced past a nearby cyclist. That tram looks as though he's in trouble. I must catch up and help right away. Help! Oh, 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 what's happening? Albert was nearly out of fuel. He was losing power because of it. The cyclist was pedalling hard and soon he was catching up with Albert. Ah, ah, he's slowing and there's a station ahead. Now's my chance. Albert was slowing and the cyclist was sped up. Soon he was level with Albert's front door. He opened it, scrambled into the cab and slammed the brakes hard on. Ah! At last, Albert stopped. He was very relieved. <sighs> Whew. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome, but you must never let this happen again. Albert agreed with him. Just then, Jeff arrived with Mr. Wells and Sam. Albert, thank goodness you've stopped. Thanks to this man. Thank you very much, sir. You've stopped a nasty accident. I'm glad I could help. Albert, it's obvious your brakes are faulty. So I'm sending you to Frank Donaldson's workshop to get them fixed properly. Thank you, sir. The signal lights were soon changed, and Bruno came to take Albert, Sam and Mr. Wells to Frank Donaldson's workshop. Hello, Wellesley. What are you doing here? Albert's brakes are broken, and we need your help to fix them. Not a problem. I'll get him fixed as soon as I can. A week later, Albert was fixed, and he brought the cyclist to the town hall for a special ceremony. The mayor and Mr. Wells had agreed to thank him for saving Albert and the tramway by giving him a bravery medal. You risked serious injury and possibly your life to try and stop a moving tram. By doing that, you managed to stop a nasty accident and save the day. Therefore, for your bravery, I and all of Tolton citizens, trams and vehicles have decided to award you this bravery medal. Well done to you, sir. Thank you very much, everyone. Everyone cheered and the party began. That night, Albert spoke to Bruno. I, I'm sorry I teased you about being clumsy. That's all right. We'll say no more about it. I'm just glad that we're friends again. Albert had realised that everyone has accidents. Whether he'll own up to any of his future accidents, though, is another story. <laughs>